So this is Assemble Systems. This is an introduction. Um, this is the way to get our project from Revit into Assemble Systems. We had an industry professional help us set all this up. So he's showing how to create a project in Assemble Systems for us. And then we're gonna move our Revit file over As you can see here, you can give it different version names. Now he's gonna log into Assemble Systems and find the project he just created for us. Now we're gonna move to the move to one of the features, which is moving the data to Excel. This is one of the projects that he was willing to show us. Then he can open up the Excel after you export the data and it will show a bunch of different takeoff quantities and square footages. Here he's showing us the door takeoff. Okay, so there are two things about Assemble Systems that a professional did not like. One of the things about Assemble that seemed like a disadvantage was a lot of times, you know, depending on the company, for like WebCore, they're still in their VDC journey, and so they're not really heavy users of it for estimating needs. But a lot of the times, if they needed to, let's say, show an estimator or project executives, okay, where did I go about getting my quantities? You can see there's no way to really output that work, except in an Excel format. But... If they can't see the Excel file, there's no way for them to really see where they got the quantities from. For example, in these doors, right? So they have to essentially log into Excel and then they'd have to select it so they can see the view. But it kind of shows them, you know, you can't really show them the model unless you screenshot it, right? So that's one of the things he didn't like about it. The other thing that he disliked is that the program crashes a lot when you try to publish your models. And if it has drawings, there's times where it just keeps churning overnight. And he said he's had to let it go for at least three days. And even then, it just doesn't publish it at times. Even with the help of tickets to Autodesk, they still can't figure out what is going on with the program. So here he showed off some grouping and trimming features. He did an example, say the hotel had a parking garage. You're able to group it and separate from the parking garage from the rest of the hotel. Obviously it's partially red because that is still part of the hotel, but this helps to do estimating groups and see all the quantities within a parking garage or the rest of the hotel. And it gives you also kind of a color visual as you're going through your model. You also showed that you can explode certain elements within the system. If you wanna see it a little bit better, you can also do section views Say you want to do a level two quality quantity takeoff, you're able to cut and trim throughout your own model. Um, 